Jack W. Peters, speaker, author, television personality, explosives. Three, two, one, come on, go! Racing. Treasure hunting. Teaching critical business skills from his adventures. Welcome, Jack. Now, the rule of five is almost like an unfair advantage. It's a different way of looking at the competitive process. Uh, it is a, a top performance strategy that allows you to leverage all your capabilities and that gives you a pretty serious edge. Now, the rule of five was inspired by my race associate, Clyde Styers, who helps manage the GHA off-road desert race team. They have a Baja bug. They race down in Baja, Mexico, and they often win the score events down there. This is how it works. We all have competitors. About five competitors, maybe more, maybe less, but five is a good average, are, that are so close that the difference between winning or losing or getting the bid or not getting the bid could be a complete toss-up. Maybe the product's the same, the price, the customer service, the appearance, all the factors are reasonably close. So really, you know, one person doesn't really have a big competitive advantage over the next. So what Clyde says is all things being equal in that circumstance, the team that is most prepared is going to win. So my question to you is, what will you do so you and your team are most prepared to win? What's something that you could do that maybe your competition won't do that will give you an advantage? Knowing that um, the competition is so steep and so close, like in racing where winning and losing comes down to a fraction of a second, or maybe in business winning and losing can come down to something so small it can't even hardly be defined, any small improvement you can do can give you a serious advantage. If you're not sure where to start, go down the list of what I call the victory trifecta, which is leadership, teamwork, and innovation. Under leadership, what decisions need to be made? They could be minor decisions or major decisions, but what needs to be done to give you an edge? Under teamwork, who is the who? Who do you need to recruit with an additional skill set that can give you an advantage? Under innovation, always ask, how can we do something better? You know, what's interesting is that your employees actually know how to do their job better and they have ideas, but they may not tell you unless you ask them. Sit down with them as a team and say, look, all things being equal, the team that is most prepared is going to win. What will we do to be more prepared than our competitors? You'll be pleasantly surprised about the ideas they can come up with. Brainstorm and expand on those ideas. Are they all going to be a winner? No, but little ideas add up to big ideas. If you want your people engaged, motivated, inspired, ask them questions and make them a contributor to the process. This is better also because if they help create the solutions, they're going to have buy-in and they're going to be more apt to implement those solutions. This is much more powerful than telling someone what to do. It is because it's their idea also. Think of the satisfaction that you and your team are going to have when you have the opportunity to brainstorm, uh, review possible improvements, 
implement certain ideas, and then you get to see um, how these positive changes affect the operation. It's a win-win for everyone involved. More engaged employees, less turnover, happier customers, and more money in the bank account. How about a secret weapon? Would you like one of those? Clyde's GHA race team supports a charity called Miracles Per Mile. And how it works is people sponsor the race buggy, and for every mile it goes, proceeds go to an orphanage in Mexico. That means for every race, there's about 20 orphan kids that are cheering and praying for that car to finish. If the car breaks down and there has to be a decision whether to fix it or put it on the trailer, the decision is easy. They fix it. They can work around the clock, work all night, over a thousand miles for the Baja 1000 to make sure that car goes as many miles as it can, knowing that every mile produces more money for the orphanage. Now, how does someone compete against that? Well, that's why they usually win. The rule of five, very simple yet very effective. And if you want to return the favor, consider supporting miraclespermile.com. Looking for a speaker for your next event or a trainer for your company? Consider Jack. Engaging and inspiring audiences by teaching critical business skills from his real adventures. JackWPeters.com